up divas and what's up Devo? so this is going to be an update on this hair that i received from sun bear hair this is the third time for me working with them um or the fourth i'm not really sure but i'll definitely link the products or the hair bundles below so this is the virgin deep wave and i did make a frontal out of it and i will also link the original video down below i used one of my um let's see caps like this which is a deluxe weaving cap it does have the adjustable straps on the back i do like these a lot it makes breathable scalpage a lot more easier to achieve so this is like one of my go-to cap, um, caps i do use like a different cap sometimes each time i make a wig it all depends on the mood that i'm in and what type of style i'm going to do with the actual wig but for the most part the hair has been holding up really well the cap was a little bit big so i had to kind of like pull it back i have only worn the hair probably like a few times because it's so hot out here in arizona so i really didn't want a lot of hair but the hair is gorgeous you guys know i love curly hair like for me curly hair is like a lot easier to maintain you don't have to really do much but make sure it's wet and then style it and go you don't have to sit up there with the curling iron the flat iron you can just wear it like this or if you want to do different styles in it that's up to you but the hair did shed just a little bit um nothing major like when i washed it i think that's to be expected with like every single wig because every single wig that i make they always shed like when i'm brushing the conditioner through so i don't really get uptight about it as long as it's not excessive excessively shedding then i'm not like you know paranoid i'm not angry i'm not scared but it worked out now as for the lace frontal of course i did bleach and i used 30 developer and i think it was salon pro bleach i'm not really sure i can't remember but it's the blue one it has the blue label which works best for dark color hair it did just you know the bleach took really well to the dark knots and such and i did just pre-tweeze some of it in the front i didn't go overboard like i normally do sometimes i really will go overboard and like especially with curly hair like i have scalped a lot of curly units not a lot but i want to say like three i might be lying if i said three it might be maybe four but I really didn't scalp too much. But I think like the hairline looks pretty darn natural the way I did it. Um, and I just used my normal to apply the wig as I show you guys in the video, which are these two products. And it's my uh, styling mousse from the Dollar Tree, which is actually a top brand from like the 70s. My mommy told me that. And it's by Salon Selectives. And this is the number four, which is the all day extra firm hold and then i also use one of my favorite hairsprays in the world which is the pump it up gold this is the super hold it instantly freezes your hair in place which it does it actually freezes your lace in place too meaning i'll take this and i'll just apply it to the lace portion and some of the baby hairs and then i'll just sculpt my baby hairs with one of my sculpting brushes which you guys know you see this one in every video however i do have a new one which I seen it at the time of checkout at the beauty supply store, so I decided to purchase it. So it's just kind of like a double-sided one. It has a brush and a comb on the top, and at the bottom it has a little spatula. I'm gonna be honest, it's not one of my favorite. I think it is because the, the, the band or the handle is a little bit smaller, so it's not really one of my favorite brushes. I still go back and forth to the green one. Most of the time I'm using the green one, but you know. And anyway, after I have sculpted my baby hairs in place with the styling mousse, I will then spritz this on the edges, like right here, and then I'll take my blow dryer on cool and I'll dry it, and then the wig is stuck. Like when I say it's stuck, it's definitely stuck. But it's a lot of hair, it's very pretty, it's curly. This is like beachy summer hair. I think like with this type of hairstyle, you can wear it with like a really cute maxi dress, which would be absolutely adorable, you know what I'm saying? Or just basically whatever your preference is, but I think it's really pretty, especially like on the beach. Oh my God, you look so freaking cute, okay? But it is long, it was 222s, 20, I think it was a 22, a 20, an 18, and an 18 inch frontal, if I'm correct. I did sew combs in the back and I don't, I didn't put any elastic band in it because I just felt like I didn't feel like anything I totally forgot to be honest I just like totally forgot about the elastic band but it is to be expected like a girl can't remember everything okay but 
it's gorgeous hair it's very curly um they said it was deep wave i don't think this is deep wave i think this is just more or less curly deep wave to me is just like a lot more deeper the curls are a lot more intense they're tighter i like deep wave hair too but i really prefer like curly hair like this because it's a lot more looser you can style it and it doesn't swell up on you as opposed to like deep wave deep wave the whole texture the dynamics of it could change so I really prefer like curly hair like this texture which is like a silky texture or hunty's loose wavy so it kind of reminds me honestly of both loose wavy and curly you know what I'm saying but I think it's gorgeous hair you know I like it in like the flip over method because I feel sexy but the bleaching of the knots was perfect okay so that's what it looked like it did not come out brassy or anything like that of course I do use like the Sally Beauty Store um purple shampoo which is very similar to the um shimmer lights it's cheaper but they work the same i will first once i rinse off the bleach i will allow the purple shampoo to sit on the hair for like a few seconds you know i'll rinse it in and then i'll rinse it right out and then i'll place it back on and all the brassy tones are you know just vanished or whatever you want to call it okay but for the most part, they have some really affordable hair. Like I said, I've worked with them on numerous occasions. Um, I would not steer you guys wrong. I know you guys are always looking for something affordable. And there are so many different companies out there. So you definitely want to do your research of which one that you want to purchase from. I know some of the reviews on AliExpress may seem kind of like biased or also may seem suspect. But I'm pretty sure you can look on YouTube and just see like actual customers who have reviewed it and also other YouTubers as well. But you guys, I just wanted to update you on this hair. Check the info box down below. It will have all of the product links as well as the direct video for this one, which was first. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Stay Viva and Delicious. Thumbs this video up because you love me so much. And I will see you guys on the other side.